and welcome back to another YouTuber video. Today we're going to be doing a vegan meal prep. So I'm starting out a new routine where I'm going to be meal prepping every three days. So this was for today, tomorrow, and Sunday. It's a weekend meal prep and then after that I'm going to be doing every three days. So that like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is meal prepped and then on Wednesday I meal prep three more days. That's kind of just something I've decided I wanted to do in my like fitness side of life. I kind of just been wanting to switch up like my routines between cooking and working out and all of that and so with YouTuber winding down this is a new habit I want to get into so if you guys do enjoy this be sure to thumbs up or let me know and I can film more meal preps with you guys and aside from that if you guys want to see my three-day meal prep then just keep watching. So to begin we're going to start with apple pumpkin pie oatmeal. Oatmeal has been a favorite breakfast of mine ever since the temperatures have dropped and it's just such a cozy way to start your morning. So I'm starting off with one and a third cup of oat bran, adding in a cup of apple cider which is actually going to make the oatmeal taste appley, adding in a cup of almond milk to make it creamy and then two cups of water and then bringing that to a boil. Make sure you're just constantly stirring it as you are prepping your apples to which we're going to do next. I'm going to chop up two different apples. You can choose any kind of apples you like. I did a pink lady apple and a granny smith apple, added a bit of lemon juice and cinnamon and then fried those up after. Portioning it into three different mason jars and after the apples had softened I added those in as well and then topped it off with a big spoonful of pumpkin pie filling now if you don't have pumpkin pie filling all you need is canned pumpkin and pumpkin spice or any kind of like nutmeg cinnamon you can like spice up your pumpkin however you want and then you have apple pumpkin pie oatmeal all you have to do in the morning is twist off the lid heat it up and add your almond milk and you're good to go so now for lunch we're going to be making vegan pumpkin chili and I also picked up a fresh loaf of bread from the bakery so that is kind of what goes with this meal. So I'm starting by putting some garlic and onions at the bottom of a big pot, popping that on the oven on top of the uh, top of the oven if you will I don't know why I had to explain that and putting it at medium heat until the onions and the garlic basically soften up in the meantime I'm gonna peel and chop up a carrot as well as some other vegetables like mushrooms and zucchini you can add any kind of veggies you want to your chili the best things about chili and soup is it's kind of just like whatever you have in your fridge slash whatever your preference is and then I just added a little bit of broth so that the veggies don't go to um, like hard as they're cooking and then once those start to soften up I'm gonna add one can of diced fire roasted tomatoes and one can of regular diced tomatoes and then continue to mix that up and turn up the heat a little bit until it all starts to cook together next we're gonna add in two cups of canned pumpkin mix that into the chili and then after the pumpkin has been mixed in I'm gonna go ahead and add a cup and a half of black beans again though you can use lentils or chickpeas whatever you want you can even add like vegan ground beef into this if you really want to make it fancy but um, yeah I was choosing protein or my beans for protein this week and then I'm just gonna mash it up or you can blend it up a little bit and then I'm gonna stir in some vegetarian chili uh, organic seasoning that I grabbed from the grocery store and then portion it out into three portions now I ate one of these portions for lunch hence why it wasn't in the other meal prep container it was just in a big glass bowl but then I divided it up cut my fresh bread for the day and that's how I ate my pumpkin vegetarian chili <music> Now for dinner, we're gonna be making pan-fried tofu and roasted vegetables. I'm gonna start by roasting up my vegetables since that takes the longest. I'm cutting up baby yellow potatoes and some butternut squash, two things I just had in my fridge. Covering it in a little bit of veggie broth and some rosemary and thyme before putting it in the oven at about 400 degrees for 45 minutes. While that cooks, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my tofu. So I'm just gonna chop this up however you wanna eat it. I like to eat it in like bigger chunks when I'm pan frying it like this. And then once that's pan frying, I'm gonna cut up the rest of our roasted vegetables. Now you can add the mushrooms and zucchini or any of these vegetables into the oven that we just put like in with the potatoes and the butternut squash, but I wanted to make them have a different flavor profile. So I cut these up separately and fried them up in a pan with some teriyaki instead. Thank you. 
So after your vegetables are all fried up and your root vegetables or roasted vegetables are soft, go ahead and serve them into your meal prep containers. Now I did so with some chopped spinach and some microgreens, kind of making this like a Buddha bowl of sorts. And then I just separated again all of my root vegetables and then all of my fried vegetables into three different portions. One I was eating for dinner, hence why it's not in the meal prep container. And then yeah, that pretty much finalized it. And then once you go to eat it, you can just add like a big scoop of hummus or any kind of sauces that you want and you have your dinner ready to go. It. That is the food I'm gonna be eating all weekend. I have pretty much this is like the last full weekend I have of Utober, so I'm gonna be working most of this weekend. I'm kind of doing my work hours during Saturday and Sunday, hence why I wanted to have my meals prepped and like my workouts ready to go. And I ate my oatmeal and my chili already today, both were freaking amazing. And then after my run tonight, I'm gonna have my uh, roasted platter. So there you guys have it. That is my meal prep for the next two days. Let me know what you guys thought. And aside from that, I'll see you guys all in the next Utober video. Bye guys.